Home security, Wi-Fi cameras, or wired cameras? I have both. I'm picking one today, and we're upgrading it to 365 degree AI technology. That's vehicle and person recognition. If you stick around the end, I'll cover all the costs of a system I'm getting ready to install compared to an Arlo, Nest, or Ring camera system. I think you'll be surprised. The setup, install, review, and the final costs, all next on Home Pro Hero. Hey, I know, break-ins are up. 26 years in law enforcement, I know home security is important. The difference from finding the person who broke into your house or not can sometimes come down to a simple video camera. So I have nine cameras at my house. One Wi-Fi camera, which is a Google Nest camera. In my upstairs window, I can access the Nest camera by using it on my phone. It only records motion that's detected at my house. But at $10 a month, not a big fan. And then I have the Onwood system, eight power over internet cameras, which means all the power and the data from the camera go across one simple Cat 5e cable. The beauty of that system is it never goes to the cloud. Everything's stored locally in the basement of my house that I have access to at any time. So why do I have two camera systems? Because my Nest camera can actually notify me upon motion in my driveway. The other camera system, Onwoot, and it has 365 degrees all the way around my house. Although both these camera systems have motion, including clouds and trees, neither have AI, vehicle and person identification. I've had both these systems for five years. So what am I doing today? I'm getting rid of that Nest Cam, and then I'm changing out all my current Onwoot cameras that I have with the new generation, along with a new NVR. It's a great upgrade. It's gonna help protect my home and my family. Let's get started. So my first Onwoot system, I paid for. Over the last five years, I felt like I've given it a good review and I'm completely happy. The only problem I have had is the technology is getting older. This particular unit, which is better than my old one, Onwoot sent to me, but they aren't paying me for the honest and unbiased opinion that I have when setting up, installing, and reviewing this system. With all that said, let's cover what's in the box. They gave me eight 4K cameras, 16 channel NVR. NVR is a network video recorder similar to a DVR. Eight 60 foot cables and eight waterproof connectors that I probably won't use. I'll explain later. Of course, they give me all the mounting hardware. So what's the difference between this system and my old system? One, it's got upgraded resolution, 4K compared to 1080. It has advanced AI features that can identify vehicles and persons. It has enhanced night vision up to 100 feet. The NVR is bigger. It's four terabytes compared to my old system, which was two terabytes. And most importantly, I go from eight channels to 16 channels for more expansion. Let's get started, take off my old cameras, and let's put on the new cameras. Okay, here's my old dome cameras here. Uh, I said they were about five years old. They don't look it. Let's go ahead and remove this one right now. It's basically three screws. Okay, and then I just need a, a drill to get these three screws out. So it's a total of six screws holds this thing up. Okay, so here's the camera. My hole is a little big, but uh, I think I had to fish these wires through originally. Here's the connection. So this wire right here, I ran when I built the house. I made these wires. They sent you wires, but I have my own Cat 5e. I buy a big box of it on mono price. And it's pretty reasonable. I think it's like 80 bucks or under hundred bucks for a thousand feet of it. So I'll go get the other camera. I'll show you how I made these connections real quick. You need the connectors, you need this tool, and then you need this tool to check. I'll put links in my description to all these different products. One is you're gonna prep the wire. So there's really three steps to this process. You slide all the wires in and they come out the other end. And then the same tool, it actually crimps them and cuts the ends for you. Bingo, one done. You just gotta repeat the same thing on the other side. And you want it to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in order. Look at that, perfect every time. All you gotta do is plug in the ethernet cable. These connections will never get wet up in here and they have it the last five years. Now you know you got power when you got the green light right there. Now we're just gonna mount this camera anywhere for now, we'll adjust the eye later. Not going anywhere. So you can see you can adjust these any which way you want. The final piece is this little ring that protects the screws, just like that. Hey, so I wanted to show you the difference between the old cameras and the new cameras, right? You can see with the old cameras, they had a dome all the way around, which sometimes posed problems for the fact that there's glare on the backside. With these new cameras, they've eliminated the dome altogether. The one thing I like about the new cameras is uh, they only take three screws all together with this ring. This one, obviously, you saw me take it off. It's got the three screws for the wood, and then it's got the three screws for the dome. I'm gonna reuse these in the utility room in my basement. 
keep an eye on my sub pump, my furnace, and my water heater. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and install the other seven cameras, just like I did that camera over there. Okay, I got all the cameras up. It took me about an hour to take the old ones down and put the new ones up. No big deal at all, you saw me do it. So this one I changed, instead of focusing on the garage doors, I'm focusing on the driveway. Now the front porch one focuses on this general area right here, my front door. Got a couple windows here and there. Neither of my windows open, so it's not a big deal. Should do the job for deliveries. That's a ring doorbell cam without the doorbell part. You can see I got this one up on the corner. It focuses on the three garage doors at the corner of the house and also the front. So it catches everything that the other two cameras don't catch up front. Now this side's actually unprotected a little bit for the fact I don't have any camera views down the side here, but that window's fixed and that window's fixed. So there's no way to pry a window open unless you break it. So this is my only problem area. I got a camera right up there. It actually looks out at the hot tub and in the windows of the screen and porch. It does leave those two doors, the patio door and the back door unprotected. So off camera what I'll do is I'll actually move that camera to the inside and then I'll aim down at both doors, catching both doors. The hot tub's not really a concern, but the doors are. The camera up there, it shoots at this door right here. Catches everything coming around the corner too. I've got one camera right on the smokehouse, catching pretty much this entire area here. Put this camera up here to catch the back garage door, which is an entry point. Uh, I think I'm gonna trim this tree up right here, get the branches up, and then I'll aim at that door right there. That's what's important. My last camera basically shoots out at the front of the property. So I catch all this right here. With all that said, let's go plug the new DVR in. Let's see how everything works. Okay, uh, down here in the basement, here's the cameras up right now on the old system, actually. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the monitor, turn off the old NVR, and then I'm gonna install this new NVR right here. Now, the only difference between the old and the new, it looks like, is the size. And then, like I said, my old one was only eight ports, or they call them channels. This one has 16. So I got my eight for the outside, and then the other eight I'm gonna use inside. Oh, fits like a glove. Okay, first thing I wanna hook up is my internet. This will allow me to get it from my phone. Now my monitor, HD, and then my mouse. I forgot to tell you there's a mouse in the box, not a real mouse. That just goes in the USB spot here. So far, so good. And then all I gotta do is uh, plug in my new cameras. That's uh, pretty much all the connections. It's gonna power it up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Strangely, the uh, password's the same as my luggage. Be changing that just for the record. Cameras came online, no issues at all. I'm not gonna bore you with setup, but it's pretty straightforward. The directions are right to the point and easy. Once all the configuring is done, there's really three ways to access the system. In my case, it's here in the basement where the MVR is. The other two ways is using a program called Guard Viewer. They have an app and you can also get it through a web browser. You can do everything you want on all three ways. So you pretty much have your camera system anywhere in the world. You can name cameras, you can set up record schedules, you can set up notifications, you can play back video, downloading videos and send them via text or email, super easy too. And there's a lot more than that. It's whatever's more convenient for you. I used the app and I was able to easily focus in my cameras where I wanted them. That's all done. Now let me show you how good this system really looks. Here are some examples of how powerful the system can be. The quality, the AI, the color night vision, all pretty incredible in my opinion. The best quality I've ever had. So I compared this system to the three Wi-Fi systems out there, Ring, Nest, and Arlo. And you can see over a five year period of time, it's much cheaper to run a system like I'm installing today. Not only that, I get the highest quality and I get recording 24 seven. With these three Wi-Fi companies, you only get event-based recording, which means if your camera doesn't pick it up, you're out of luck. Keep in mind, if the Wi-Fi or the power goes down, so does your camera system. My power over internet, my Onwoot system, has stable connectivity, higher video quality than my Nest camera. It's easier to scale when needed. It works on a secure network and it has a centralized power source so I can have it on a battery backup system. The things I hate about my Nest cam, it's recorded, uploaded to the cloud, and my video secured in a location that I don't know where it's at. I put a poll on my YouTube community tab. The majority of people have Wi-Fi cams. There's nothing wrong with a Wi-Fi cam. It's a really simple process and easy for most people. But if you're serious about home security, a POI system like this one will do the job. Pretty much took me four to five hours to knock it out, and that's playing out the software, the phone app, and all that good stuff. But for the most part, I'm really happy with it. Really easy install since I ran the wires already. The $10 a month Nest Cam, is gone. I discontinued the service a few minutes ago, so we're good to go there. The software in the basement, not so great, but the software on the Internet Explorer is really, really good, and the phone app's excellent. 
In general, the picture quality is better, the AI feature is going to be super nice, the audio feature is going to be nice, the better night vision. All in all, it's a good solid system and it costs me nothing per month to run it. The only downside to this system I can see, and it's not the system's fault itself, it's just the type of system that it is, and that's running the wires. If you don't have the wires ran, you have to run the wires. It's not a big deal. If you like these types of videos, and you like to improve the value of your property, and now also protect the value of your property, then subscribe to the channel, give me a like, take care, and I'll see you next time.